Are you ready for some good news? God yearns for all to be well with you. Here's today's text from 2 Samuel chapter 18. The king said to the Cushite, Is it well with the young man Absalom? And the Cushite answered, May the enemies of my Lord and the king and all who rise up against you for evil be like that young man. Is it well? I'm moved and broken by the story of David's son, Absalom. I feel the waves of David's grief when he learns of Absalom's death. Oh, Absalom. Oh, Absalom. And in the midst of the moving story, the gospel lies in wait. The great conflict began when Absalom's half-brother Amnon raped Absalom's sister Tamar. Absalom had Amnon killed and then fled for three years. He was eventually restored to the father's favor in Jerusalem, but Absalom was duplicitous. He rallied private support and after four years declared himself king. He raped David's concubines and raised a revolt at Hebron. David had to flee. And when a messenger arrived to bring news of the conflict, David didn't ask, is my empire safe? The king didn't inquire, did we win the battle or am I secure? Instead, the betrayed father's first most urgent question was, Is it well with the young man Absalom? Such is the Heavenly Father's love for you. Too many think that God's big question is, Have you done your best for me? God doesn't primarily care if you're being good. Instead, the heart of God is that He's a Father, and what He cares most about is you. Is it well with you? We're all rebellious Absaloms who were enemies of the king, As David's heart was wrapped with care for his son, so God's heart is consumed with love for you despite your rebellion and sin. So hear God's question again for you today. Is it well with you? You may have worked against God, but He is utterly for you. His heart is ever fixed with affection for you in Christ. And that's the gospel. Well, that's the good news for today, and if you won't get more like it, you can click right here, or better yet, subscribe, get all of this, start out your day with encouragement, and I hope this day is a day that you know God's love well.